Hello everyone, it's me ASMR for welcoming you to my new illustrator tutorials and today I'll show you the signature type uh, logo making like uh, photography logo you know this is the time for uh, just a wedding and you need a logo for your photography and your wedding house or whatever it, it could be but uh, you need a logo so you can make your logo own and uh, you don't have to go to any kind of agency and designer for your creative type logo so you can make it easily and how to make it out and how to just uh, make like uh, creative and how to replace or place in your photographs let's see let's start the tutorial if you are new in my channel please do subscribe and hit the bell icon for the new notifications so at first uh, we are in illustrator so we'll go to the file and then new and after that you can get a custom artboard which is a thousand by thousand pixel you can just define from here you can make the advanced settings in a cmyk mode just because of if you need to print it out you can just help it in more way in a cmyk mode you know this one is the color type uh, or um, the printout if you want to go to the printout you have to make it cmyk at least so and you can make the screen size like 300 ppi or dpi whatever you can tell and hit the create button you'll get an artboard over there so i made a signature like that so how i made it and i'll show you these things today so this one is our artboard and after that we'll go to the circle and actually ellipse tool and make ellipse like that so press the shift button and hold it you'll get the perfect circle over here after that we'll turn off the stroke and here we'll give a color which is like black color it will help you out to choose it out and then i'll just make it in a small way like that if i make it zoom it in here the like uh, stroke will be like this so that's why i made it out now i'll just give these things in a stroke or brush i'll add these things so here is my brush actually so how to add that if you want to get these things or the brush settings over here go to the window and you'll get the brush over here so brushes or f5 from keyboard okay after that i'll drag this stroke and drop over here then it will show you a window and select the art brush and hit ok after that you'll get another window so no need to change anything but you should change this one in a tints and then hit ok so you're getting the brush let's see what will be the brush and here is the brush and simply you can draw that things so it could be like that then i'm just deleting all the things deleting and again press b from the keyboard and you'll get the brush back and you can adjust the stroke from here from the stroke thickness you can make it bigger or smaller if i make it bigger like this so three or four pt it will be like that and if you want to make it smaller it will be like this so which one is convenient for you i don't know you should adjust your brush own and now i'll draw something or write something so press b from the keyboard the brush will active and then write down so it will be like that or it will be like this so you can make it the things so i'm trying to write down something like re for whatever it is so i'll draw like from here select these things so it will be like that or i'll draw like so now i'll write down the photography manually how to do that go to the text tool and just select once and make the font size bigger like this and write down the photography so i'll select these things all and then i'll change the font suppose it could be like creative type font if you need so here and go to the character options and make it all caps and you can reduce the size of the font so i'll make the size like smaller this like this so it could be and i'll increase the size of the gap like this i'll increase the gap between two letters or two alphabets like this 
and adjust the font size like this yeah that's good and then and then you can place over here so your photography logo is ready and you can use it how to use that you have to select these things all the things and you have to mm, like uh, edit and expand this like go to the object and expand this one and again go to the object and expand these things and hit ok and it will be expanded now this one is a vector file and no more like uh, this this one is no more like a uh, font or other steps this one is the vector file and go to the export selection and give the name any kind of name you can give these things gh or whatever you can and export the asset so it will export in a png mode so in this folder this one is a png mode and now how to add in your photographs so suppose this one is your photography and you want to add that signature in your photo how to do that go to the file and place embed it and that file which you exported like ga's png and place over here and make it smaller like this and you can place it over here and now how to change the color right press go to the blending mode blending options actually and go to the color overlay and change the color like that so here it could be any kind of color like that and here is the alignment and make it in a middle so hope that you learned a lot from this video if you did please thumbs up and share with a friend and if you have any kind of question query request please do comment on my video comment section and until the next video i may say i'm signing out today bye bye